Can I ask you a personal question? Why do you believe what you believe? I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Our beliefs have an enormous impact on what we do every single day. For example, if I believe it's going to rain, I'll take an umbrella. If I believe company is coming over, I'm going to clean house. So it's important to understand why we believe what we do, isn't it? The dictionary defines the word believe as accept something as true, feel sure of the truth of. Now, sometimes we believe silly things that are simply not true. For example, when I was around 12 years old, I began having my men menstrual cycle. At first, it didn't come every month, and I was really worried that that was a bad thing. But one day at lunch, my friend convinced me that drinking milk would make my periods come regular. So, four cartons of milk later, I was so sick. But it didn't change a thing. Boy, was I naive. Thankfully, that milk didn't really hurt me. So believing that lie didn't cost me much, except a stomachache. But other lies can be devastating, especially concerning God's holy word. It bothers me greatly that there are people in the world who believe something to be true simply because they never went to scripture to test what they were hearing. Take, for example, a saying that I have heard many times and quoted as if it came from the Bible, but it's simply not there. The saying is, God will not give you more than you can handle. While I love the sentiment, God did not say that, but he did say this, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. How about, once you're saved, you can never be lost? I have heard this in many forms, but that didn't come from Scripture either. This is what the Bible says on the subject, 2 Peter 2, 21 through 22. For it would have been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commandment delivered to them. What the true proverb says has happened to them. The dog returns to its own vomit. The sow, after washing herself, returns to wallow in the mire. Wow, that's pretty graphic picture, isn't it? These are people that knew the truth, followed the truth, but then walked away. Scripture says that it would have been better off if they had never obeyed the gospel. Today, I am begging anyone within the sound of my voice to test everything you hear against the Word of God. And that certainly includes what you hear me say. On the day of judgment, we'll all stand before the throne of God as individuals. Romans 14, 12. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. The last one concerns me the most. Did you know that the phrase, ask Jesus into your heart, is not found anywhere in Scripture? Neither is the sinner's prayer. I've spoken to so many people who truly believe that just saying a few words will save them. But my sweet friends, that's not what the Bible says. Mark 16, 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Yes, belief saves, because true belief causes action. A believer will be baptized, but a non-believer will not. Hebrews eleven six. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. But it takes more than just becoming a Christian. You must faithfully live as one. Revelation 2, 10b. Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. I want you to know that I love you all so much and I am not trying to create controversy, 
but I must speak the truth in love. I pray that we will all give this lesson some very serious thought. Yes, we believe, but are we sure of what we believe and why? Thanks for hanging in there with me on this one. I know this was a tough lesson for many reasons, but on Judgment Day, I too will give an account for my words and deeds, and I just couldn't go before the throne of God without giving you this message. So until we are all together again, please, ladies, never forget that God loves you, and so do I.